Welcome back! In the last tutorial I showed you how you could create a new Maven product and initialize it using Speedment and generate code from a database by using the Speedment tool. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you some of the more uh, advanced options that are available in the Speedment tool. So you see here that I have the product that we created in the last video. So I'm now going to uh, select Speedment example and I'm going to relaunch the Speedment tool. You notice that the tables in my database are all named in plural. And that's good for a MySQL table, but in the Java code I want the classes to be in singular. And right now it just takes the database name straight off. So I'm going to show you how we can create a Java alias to rename the tables uh, and how they're represented in the code. So in the tool we're going to select the table we want to rename, in this case the employee table, and then we're going to uh, deselect the uh, auto option and remove the s on the end. And you can see now that the package name here is changed correspondingly. So if I regenerate the code, you can see that it immediately changes the, uh, the Java product over here, so that we have employee in singular. So we can go ahead and change the remaining tables as well. So I go down to salaries and change that to salary, and then titles and change that to title. We also had the departments up here and change that to departments. Great. So now we regenerate. And sometimes it can take a few mo moments for NetBeans to update. So I'm going to initialize a clean and build to uh, force it to uh, change the directories. Great. And now we can see that I have all the tables in Singular. But that's not all we can do in the uh, Speedman tool. For example, uh, if we open the employee and look at some of the columns that we have here, called fields in Java world, you will see that I have a Java SQL date to represent the birth date. And that's because they are dates in uh, the MySQL database. But for performance reasons, I might want to store these as a long uh, in my Java world. So I'm going to show you how you can map types from the database into a different Java type using the Speedman tool. So we go back to the Speedman GUI, and then I go down to employees. And this time we're going to select the birth date column. And here you see I have an option called JDBC type Java. So I'm going to select a different one, date to long. And this allows me to uh, do a dynamic runtime conversion so that they are all represented as longs in the Java code. And then I press regenerate. Now if we go back here you will see that the birth date will be represented as a long. And it's shown more clearly in the implementation of this interface. Here you can see that the birth date is now a long. Thank you for watching.